say past behaviors predict future conduct. How you guys doing? It's Dark Knight Radio. I'm Dark Knight. And I feel like this video is very, very imperative uh, to know not only black people as a whole, but Americans in general. Uh, this particular event, I'm sure you guys have heard of before. I'm sure you heard the name um, you know, fly around or pass around, but you may not know exactly what it is or what it means, and that's the Tuskegee experiment. An experiment that was heinous as far as black people, and it's a staple uh, to which why people don't, not just black people, but why people don't trust the health industry in America. And I'm, I'm going to explain a little bit. I'm going to read off some excerpts a little bit, but most is going to be my opinions about it and how it shaped me or people around me, people who look like me, or people who think like me, or why we don't really trust, you know, the health industry. And it's not hard to see why after you hear this. Okay, so I'm gonna just read off some here. Uh, so the Tuskegee syphilis study, is the proper name for, it was ethically abusive study conducted between 1932 and 1972 by the United States Public Health Service and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention on a group of nearly 400 African Americans with syphilis. The purpose of the study was to observe the effects of the disease when untreated, though by the end of the study it was entirely treatable. The men were not informed of the nature of the experiment and more than 100 died as a result. Okay, so that should tell you where we're going with this. The Public Health Service study started in 1932 in collaboration with Tuskegee University, then the Tuskegee Institute, a historically black college in Alabama, which is ironic. In the study, investigators enrolled a total of 600 impoverished African American sharecroppers from Macon County, Alabama. Of these men, 399 had latent syphilis with a control group of 201 men who were not infected. As an incentive for participation in the study, the men were promised free medical care. While the men were provided with both medical and mental care that they otherwise would not have received, they were deceived by the PHS who never informed them of their syphilis diagnosis. You see where I'm going? You see? and provided diagnosed placebos, ineffective methods, and diagnostic procedures as treatment for bad blood. The men were initially told that the experiment was only going to last six months, but it was extended to 40 years. 40 years! After funding for treatment was lost, the study was continued without informing the men that they would never be treated. Let me say it again. The study was continued without informing the men that they would never that they would never be treated. None of the infected men was treated with penicillin, despite the fact that in 1947 the antibiotic was widely available and it had become the standard treatment for syphilis. The study continued under numerous public health service providers until 1972 when it leaked to the press resulted in its termination in November 16th of, of that year, I'm sorry. By then, 28 patients had died directly from syphilis. 28 patients had died directly from syphilis at that time. 100 died from complications related to syphilis. 40 other patients' wives were affected with syphilis and 19 children were born with congenital syphilis. The 40-year Tuskegee study was a major violation of ethical standards and by the, it has been cited as arguably the most infamous biomedical research study in U.S. history. I'm saying again. and has been cited as arguably the most infamous biomedical research study in U.S. history. It's rather... Revelation led to the 1979 Belmont Report and to the establishment of human, I'm sorry, the Office of Human Research Protections and federal laws 
regulations requiring institutional review boards for the protection of human subjects in studies. The OHRP manages this responsibility within the United States Department of Health and Human Services. I'm sorry, guys. My notes are, I write in scribble, I write left handed, so my notes are kind of all over the place. Sorry for the pausing and skipping. It's revelation has also been an important cause of distrust in medical science and the U.S. government amongst African. I'm going to say it again. It's revelation, it's revelation, revelation has also been an important cause of distrust in medical science and the U.S. government amongst African Americans. So you see why we're kind of hesitant or apprehensive as far as, you know, the medical industry. On May 16, 1997, President Bill Clinton formally apologized on behalf of the United States to victims of the study, calling it shameful and racist. What is done cannot be undone. We can end the silence, he said. We can stop turning our heads away, and we can look you in the eye and finally say on behalf of the American people, what the United States government did was shameful, and I am sorry. That's coming from your president. Well, your president back then. So, that's all the notes I have. And this was the Tuskegee experiment and how... And, you know, reading from this particular passage, what got me is that there were black nurses who were helping, trying to, who was helping trying to convince these people to, to take the treatment, to get the treatment, while pulling the wool over their heads. Okay, you should come get this. You know, we're going to provide you free health care. You know, we're going to provide you free, you know, um, uh, we got doctors. You know, we're going to give you money. It's going to be good. You know, you're going to, you know, you don't have to, you know, share crop anymore. You don't have to be impoverished anymore. Just come on and do it. Don't worry about it. Just don't ask no questions. And that's the part that got me. That was, it was actually other black people trying to get these people to take this, you know, thing. And they, and they knew exactly what it was. But mainly, this is why when it comes to vaccines and COVID and even flu shots, why a lot of us don't just don't trust it. You know, don't just take my word for it. You guys can look up the Tuskegee experiment, do your own research. Uh, you can find out more. I told you the passage I read was just a small excerpt. And I had written it down. So, again, I'm sorry, guys, if I'm pausing. And I can't, I can't recognize my own handwriting sometimes. I know you're probably thinking, why did you write it? Why did you write it over? But a lot of this stuff, you know, is not scripted that I give you guys. You know, this guy just comes from straight from the brain, straight from the heart. And this is this is one i actually been meaning to make for a while now that we should actually know. But I want you guys to do your own research. Please look up the Tuskegee Syphilis experiment or the Tuskegee experiment look it up um, get abreasted on it um, become knowledgeable and it's something we have to know where we are we have to know who we are we have to know I, you have to know your enemy so to speak and that's and that, and I did that, that doesn't come from a physical person that comes from in life if you, if you play sports and you about to play a team, you have to know your team. You got a game plan for them. If you're dating someone before you get serious or have kids with them, you want to know who they are, you want to know their family, where they're from, you know, if they cheated before. So everything you have to know your enemy, you have to, it, it's a broad umbrella term. You have to know what you're doing or what you're getting yourself into. But I would love to get your, you know, I would love to get you guys' feedback on this. Post your comments down below. Like, subscribe to the channel if you love this content. Um, there'll be there'll be more daily. I'm making videos daily for you guys. You know, it's something I enjoy. Um, I told you, we're a family. And my mission is to bring back thinking, kind of conversation and communication. Something that's, you know, it's about to be extinct. You know, if we don't cover it, guys. I'm Dark Knight. It's Dark Knight Radio. You guys be good. You guys be safe. <laughs>